Hi, Anusha. Hi. Uh, I am trying to see how I can do this peer assessment, but um, I see that this is very different from everything else we have done. This has got in response and it gives me a sample. It has a text box. It tells me to choose files. Yeah. So I want to know what I should do here. Should I type something? Should I, can I, what is it that I should do? Yeah. So in case of this assignment, you have both the options. So you either you can uh, type in this text box, mm -hmm. uh, which you can see. And or you can uh, uh, create a file where you uh, create your lesson plan. It can be a PDF doc uh, or Word document. So the options are there uh, in the instruction section. So you can yeah. also upload a file over here. And, so if, uh, and also you can do both if you want. Okay. And if I save my progress, then it means that the assignment has not been submitted and I can come back and work on it. Exactly. So, and can uh, I copy paste from another Word document or anything if I'm working? Oh, I can. I can. Yeah. So uh, then I can also work on a Word document and work on it. It also gives me all the spelling correction tools and everything. Yes. So yes. this is nice. And if I save my progress, then it is, it tells me that my activity is not completed. Correct. So, so uh, my act if you are working and you want to work later on this part, so you can come back. So you can save your progress and maybe come back and work later. But until and unless you submit your response and move to this next step, until and unless you check this box, your... Mm. Uh, Submission will not be uh, registered by TSX. Will not and I can't do, I can't assess peers because it says not available because exactly. I have not done my job. Exactly. Right. Okay. So when I click on submission, it tells me that you are about to submit your response for this assignment. And after you submit, you can't change it or submit a new response. If I click on submit, then it it shows me complete and it says that I have uh, that there are no responses right now from my peers and I can uh, exactly. receive my grade after I've completed the steps. Okay. So All let right. me just do one more thing. Let me just uh, upload one file from my side also so that we have two and we can see the next step how to assess yours. Right. So I'll stop sharing my screen and yeah. Thank you. I'll just start sharing my screen. As you can see, this assignment is open. So this is a sample assignment uh, just for this demo. Uh, mm -hmm. So you can see the instructions are given here. And as Anusha showed that you can uh, type your response in this box. But what I will be doing, I will be uh, uploading a file where I have worked on the lesson plan. So I will go to choose file. Mm -hmm. So you can also do this from your phone uh, on TSX app. So right now I'm using my laptop. Mm -hmm. So I have this file. So I can also uh, write like uh, my lesson plan and maybe you know, give my name. That would be a good practice, isn't it? So that the name is visible and uh, people will know in case the file gets, uh, you know, is yeah. uploaded and lost. Yeah. So now I can go to upload file. Okay. And, and again, this step is important. I have to submit my response. Hmm. So, and it says that sub, yes it says you are about to submit your response for this assignment after you submit you can't change it or submit a new response so i'm clicking on ok so and now you can see yes i have come to the next section so here i can 
I will uh, yeah over you. to Anusha if you can. You have actually seen your uh, my response now. Yeah, you are able yeah. to see. So one of the things that will happen is my response I will never get. I will only get someone else's response. The system will take care of it, isn't it? Yes. Right. And if I and I can write there below assess uh, whether they are good points or bad points. So mine was a very bad answer and it is not a recommended answer at all. It was just for sample explanation, but I, we can also check. Uh, so yeah, I think if you can just mark mine and yes, you can see yes. how it so looks. As you can see, this is, the, these are, this is the rubric that will come on your screen once uh, you upload and a peer has also uploaded. Uh, mm. So maybe I will just give uh, points over here. Mm. Yes. And you can also give comments if you want about how they should have improved, etc. And they are... <laughs> yes. Of course. <laughs> and so it tells me that you can submit an assessment and move to response two. Yes. And it's only when you submit your assessment and move to response two when your grade, uh, I mean, you would have completed your uh, activity, isn't yes. it? I will just submit. And it shows me that all available has been responded, but not there. If I'm doing this for you, uh, and if I want to share my screen. So I will stop uh, my screen share. Yeah. Yeah. And I will share my screen of this assessment that I have. And it, it says that in, uh, okay, so, uh, now it shows me that uh, I have one response that I have completed, which is in green, and it now shows me that I have other responses. So I had to come back and refresh the page. It is not that I could just stay there on that page and wait, right? I had to refresh it. And then I could assess my, so the question appears and then I also have the file. And what I can do is I can click on this file and it will open up in my, uh, in my computer and I will be able to see the file uh, as a Word document. One of the reasons why, are you able to see my screen? Or should yeah. I do new shit? No, are you able to see the Word doc? No. Ah. So it has opened on my, I'll just share screen. Can you see my Word doc now? Yes. So what I did is I downloaded it and it came on my desktop and I have opened the file. And this is one reason why if you're using fancy fonts, it might be better to actually use a PDF a version of your file rather than a word doc because you know if you if you type something very fancy then you know, the formatting changes in a word doc but she has given this very detailed analysis of constructivism and geography and the school name and it's a proper proper um, kind of a you know outline of what the lesson would have so if i once i read it and I go back to my uh, page, I have here just what Sohini, you had, which is the same rubric. And I would say that, yes, and, and these are things that you should read and figure out whether it connects to the real life and rainfall does. Uh, this was uh, well thought, especially since we are, uh, in the rainy season in Mumbai. Uh, 
and uh, we can similarly talk about whether the ICT has been utilized well and I can sorry sorry I can see that the ICT has uh, been thought of because there is the spreadsheet project that is being used and the ICT application is the spreadsheet object. So yes, spreadsheet can be used to analyze the data of rainfall and it is the creativity and critical thinking that comes in and at the Bloom's taxonomy level, these are the things that come in. I'm so sorry about this. Um, yeah, so um, yes, it was good. It, it talks about what they can do and uh, the only thing is i would recommend uh, more details uh, be added uh, or something of that sort this depends on you of course uh, you can added. give your feedback uh, yes with the yeah oh. at the end of it also we can do and yes it has scope for discussing and we can work around it this is overall very well done uh, and, but uh, more details could uh, be added to enable uh, its execution proper execution uh, so that could be uh, Thing and I can again submit and move on to the next response and it again shows me that, you know, I'm partially done and move back to it. So someone else has to do this for me uh, the second time and then I will get my grade. My grade will only be visible when another person has also graded my activity. Isn't that the case, Sohini? Yes. yes. So in this assignment, your lesson plan needs to be reviewed by two of your peers. And you also need to review a lesson plan submitted by two of your peers. And then the platform will automatically average the points and give me the average score. Exactly. And it will only do that even if both of them do it, it will only tell me because the assignment is due in 14 hours and 17 minutes. It will give all that time and it will give some more time for the grading to happen before I can get the assessment. So everything has to be done. I have one question, Sohini. Uh, what happens if, um, uh, I think students will also have this, what happens if there aren't peers who are doing assessment? If they don't assess, they don't come back. Hmm. So in that case, one of the things that happens is we often, as at this, we Anyway, at the staff level, we come in and we assess uh, whether the, you know, it has been properly done or not. And in case there are no peers and there is no one left, then the staff assessment overrides or the assessment is, uh, you know, is, is something that we find is faulty, then we can override it. And as the staff level, we definitely work on that element uh, a lot. So we can, we will ensure that you get all your grades uh, if you submit the assignments. However, you would not have been able to progress to getting your grade until and unless you assess two peers. So there are two things that can happen. One is that you may not have two peers, in which case we will come in and override, or you may not have been assessed by two peers, in which case also we will come in and override. But we will not override those till these two happen. I mean, if there are enough participants, then you must try and do this. This is one part of collaborative learning. And this is one part of the MOOC journey that we are all on together. Isn't that right? I mean, is exactly. what we should do. Yeah. Cool. I and think this is quite easy yes. to do. And I'm sure you will enjoy this uh, kind yeah. of assignment, which is very different from the ones you have done till now. Yeah, it reminds me of all the spelling, uh, you know, competitions that our teachers used to do in school where we had to check each other's book. It was so exciting to do it then. I'm sure it is equally exciting now and 
we get to read about other people's assignments and and think of their ideas and respond to their ideas and learn from their ideas in a way so it is uh, wonderful in that sense and thank you so much and yeah this is a great way of en ensuring that there is collaborative learning okay thank you so much anusha yeah chalo stop share